And welcome to my channel if you're new here go ahead and hit the subscribe button so we can be cool and if you already my friend or you're part of the family already locked in then hey boo so y'all i am back with another video and today we're going to be doing story times on reddit so i'm going to be reading a couple story times the story times that i chose seemed like that was real juicy from the title so i'm hoping it's giving what it's supposed to give for the ogs who already know how we get down on this channel on this side of youtube y'all already know i got my cup i have not had it in a couple of story times but we back with it so Go ahead and get your drink and yeah, let's do it. What's in my cup? What's in your cup? Period. Ooh. Okay, so today I have four story times for us to read. So let's get into story time number one. Okay, the title is, Am I the A-hole for keeping my name change a secret for five years? So uh, me, 26 female parents, decided to name my sister and I after American States. I have permission to share her name, Arizona, as I was called Pennsylvania at birth. Yeah, my parents are weird. <laughs> I guess they thought geographical names were cool, but I think there's a huge difference between calling a child Arizona or Decatur or Paris versus Pennsylvania. They're massive Republicans and American lovers, so maybe they wanted to be patriotic. For as long as I can remember, everyone had called me Pen or Penny. My parents insisted that everyone was to call me by my full name, but most people could see how ridiculous my parents are. My sister, 28 female, didn't struggle as much with her name since Arizona just sounds better than Pennsylvania. And the Grey's Anatomy character Arizona Robbins made the name seem cool quite as we got older. I was mocked and teased as a child in elementary school because of my parents' insistence of my full name. They would literally berate my teachers for letting me write Penny on my work and books. When I was 21, I got my name legally changed to Penelope. Penelope. <laughs> I said Penelope. <laughs> Most people I had met in college had assumed that I went by Penny as a nickname for Penelope. Even my boyfriend's mother called me Penelope because I was too embarrassed to tell her that Penny was short for Pennsylvania. I kept it a secret from my parents and close family because I knew my parents would go mental and accuse me of disrespecting their choice. I'm getting married this summer to my lovely boyfriend, Tom, 31. Um, as, you, as you all know, you have to say your full name in, a, in your wedding ceremony when you do your vows. I knew I had to fess up about the name change because the alternative would be hoping they kept quiet when they heard me say Penelope instead of Pennsylvania. I invited them over to my home and I tried to tell them in a really calm way that I had changed my name, but they freaked out. They said that I was disrespectful, I was calling their choice dumb, etc. They are refusing to attend the wedding now. I know I'm not the a-ho for changing my name, but my parents are particularly pissed about how I kept it hidden from them for five years before telling them. Most people I know agree with them. They think that I should have the courage to be honest with them years ago so they would have time to get used to it instead of dropping the new name on them two months before my wedding and causing all this drama. A few of fam other family members have dropped out and my poor sister who is the maid of honor is having a nightmare with this as well. What is you doing? having a nightmare with this as well my parents believe that they had the right to know much earlier my parents think i'm the a-hole for keeping a secret am i the a-hole okay so i don't know that was not that was not given what it's supposed to get first of all it was very 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 much boring but i'm gonna comment on it um i think that you should have told them your name changed. Yeah, they was probably gonna be pissed off, but it's your life, it's your name. You don't want to have to walk around with that name. Some people do not be realizing the kids gotta walk around with that name. Cause y'all know it be some names out here. The names I have seen, honey, I don't know. So, you know, if they wanna change, if she wanna change her name, that's that's her business. Like, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Cause that was a little boring. Okay, next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my husband he poops too much? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? My husband poops several times a day. He makes two to three trips to the bathroom in the morning, right after waking up, right after breakfast. Then at least three more times throughout the day. Each of these sessions is at least 20 minutes. I know he's actually pooping, although he takes his phone with him. That's not the point of this post. I do not care about the phone. 
when I asked him why he poops so often, he told me that he's bloated and needs to poop after each large meal. Recently, I lost my patience and I told him that his pooping was affecting my life and that he needs to go to the doctor because this is completely abnormal. We have a kid and I find it annoying to have to accommodate my husband's pooping schedule among everything else we need to get done each day. He was offended by this and said it's normal to poop this much or f for the amount of food he eats. I continue to insist that he must have some type of disease such as IBS or something that is causing his constant need to poop. Am I the a-hole that he needs to go to the, and I insist that he needs to go to the doctor for his excessive pooping? What? Like, <laughs> what? First of all, um, I'm trying to think, cause what? Like, maybe he do have a condition going on, but to be honest, y'all, we're actually supposed to like go to the bathroom after every meal. Like that's actually a normal thing. Like him going to the bathroom six, seven, eight times a day and, and taking a doo doo, that might be a little much. He might have to go to the doctor. But like saying it's affecting your life, girl, is a little dramatic. It's a little dramatic. It's a little dramatic. I don't know. And maybe he going in there and he um. Girl, I don't know. You need to you need to figure that one out. I don't know. All right, let's go to the next story. Am I the a-hole for outshining the bride? So I, 27 female, am a black African-American woman. I'm living and working in Germany for a fixed period of secondment. While here, I became quite friendly with a colleague, 60 female, and she invited me to her daughter's wedding. I was excited as I've never been to a white wedding. I asked... I asked if there was a dress code or a color scheme to adhere to since I wasn't, you know, specified on the event, on the invite. I was told the code is dressed to impress. Bet. Day of the wedding, I understand the assignment. I wear my traditional wear, which is a really beautiful and obviously not German. The garment is green, so no problem there, or so I thought. I got, I got a lot of questions and compliments at the wedding, which gen I genuinely downplay because it's not my day. My colleague seems colder than usual but i pay no mind since the mother of the bride she's the mother of the bride and could be occupied the bride is downright rude to me but again i've gave her grace i congratulate her and thank her for including me and i get a tight end response i keep to the edges of the room as the music isn't really my vibe and i'm just observing how european weddings work i leave around eight after five hours and go home before the wedding finishes Monday, I walk into whispers in the office. People actually strangely and more reserved than usual. An office friend pulls me aside and fills me in. Bride's mother is fuming. My outfit was too extravagant, OTT, and inappropriate. I drew up attention to the bride and I commended the room. I was rude and disrespectful. She told people all about it, apparently. I approached the mother of the bride and asked to speak to her, and she said she has nothing to say to me. I asked her why she would say to everyone else about me but not to me and she calls me an insolent child i explained to anyone who scolds me that this is my first white people wedding i specifically asked what do what to do you wear and follow the guidelines where i'm from there's no such thing as outshining the bride what is our fashion shows and the chance to wear the best and the brightest colors they told me that this is not Africa, which was racially coded, and people have manners. I laughed and told them to go to hell. She's telling me that I lack remorse for my behavior. I'm wondering if I'm the a-hole, though. Edit. The dress inspo I showed my tailor is now on my profile to help you. I'm about to board a flight. Someone told me to go back to my country, so I'm doing just that. Thanks for the feedback. I guess I'm not the a-hole, but I could have inquired further or done research further. Okay, let me go see if I can find this dress. Um, I don't even know how to look on people's profile. I can't find the dress. But, okay. So, me being a makeup artist, I can see this in two different ways. Like, when I go to do, like, clients and stuff like that, like, there are some times where the bridesmaid might, like, want like extra glitter or something like that that's not the time to do that because it is the you know the bride's day but i feel like if you're confident in yourself and you know you're a confident woman then you should never you know compare yourself to other people and not only that you should never feel like 
you're at competition with someone else or the day isn't about you or whatever you know what i'm saying like if if this is her culture to wear like a a nice like gown you saw her to dress to impress like why should she have to dumb it down or dull it down because it's a wedding i'm not saying come in a white dress that would be ridiculous but the girl's wearing a green dress i really wish i could see the dress just like see but i mean honestly it really doesn't matter if she didn't come like you said dress to impress what the fuck you want me to do? Like, <laughs> I don't know. All right, y'all. The last one. Ah! What the? Hold on. My son, 17 male, has apparently been in the closet for the past seven months. So my son is fairly masculine slash straight, acting as if that makes sense. However, he's very obviously had a boyfriend, 18 male, for the past seven months. He sometimes baby talks to this boy, hugs him all the time, has called him handsome, shares clothes, sits away too close to each other to the point where they're basically cuddling. He closes his bedroom door when with him, but not with any of his other friends, sees him like every day, buys him gifts, and for the past seven months, he now always smells great, has his hair fixed really nice, and dresses nicer, among other things. Today, I asked my son if... if was if we was going to invite his boyfriend on our trip he got awkward and said that's not funny i asked what he meant he said i'm straight that's not funny i laughed when i realized he was serious and i stared away from laughing even harder i told him he was obviously in a relationship with the guy and he did a terrible job at hiding it he got emotional and started asking me not to tell his dad my husband already knows like i said it was obvious then he gets upset saying i outed him when he wasn't ready he hasn't said a word to me in a couple of days. Am I the asshole? Okay, so I honestly don't feel like she the asshole. And people said that she was the asshole, but let me tell y'all why I don't think that she's the asshole. Because it wasn't like she like bashed him or something. She just was like, hey, is your boyfriend coming on the trip? That's a good way to break the ice because at the end of the day, like, our, you know, let me put it out there. I don't know. He might not feel comfortable talking to her about, you know, this. And that's obviously a bigger issue. Like, I don't think that, you know, that she says anything, anything wrong. Now, when she, when she laughed at him, that's probably what hurt his feelings because, you know, he probably was caught off guard with that question. But you let it go on for that long without saying nothing. Maybe you didn't know how to say it, you know? Like, I don't know, y'all. It ain't no rule book to parents and it ain't no rule book to, like... You know like the right and wrong things to do like everybody's going through trial and error when it comes to your children because you're learning it's you learning with them like so i don't know y'all what y'all would have did like that's a valid question like what would y'all do because me personally i don't know what i would do i i think i mean i would be accepting of my kids no matter what but is that a like i will try to make that conversation as easy for them as possible you know so it won't be like weird or awkward. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more. One mo, one mo. My husband kept cheating on me to beat my body count. This is so honestly stupid. The whole entire situation is the dumbest thing I ever been through, but I really need to talk. My husband and I met when we were in our mid twenties. In my late teen, early twenties, I went through a promiscuous phase. I had sex with about 30 something men by the time I was 23 years old. My husband's body count was just nine, and my husband has always been insecure about it, but my husband was the one that asked, how many people have you had sex with? And I was honest about it because my husband didn't seem like the person to judge, but he was grossed out and said, that's really gross. You let that many dicks inside of you. <laughs> I didn't think my husband would care so much about this, and I regret telling him my actual body count because we worked together in the past that we would never talk about that, and it's been a discussion ever since. Seven years married, we don't have any children, but over the fa past five years, my husband has been having sex with other women and he can't stop. I just found out about his affair several months ago. He started cheating on me when he was overseas and he was on dating apps having casual sex. It's so crazy because everyone from his work knows that he's married and no one cares to tell me what my husband was doing overseas. He was deployed three times and usually... And he used that time to have sex with other women. He probably surpassed my body count, honestly. I don't know and I don't understand why women actually want to have sex with him knowing he's married. Girl, they don't give a fuck. One girl even messaged him and said, I'm going to replace your wife. And then he texted back saying, oh, are you now? Like, what the F? 
I'm in shock. What did what did you do this? Why did you do this to me? We have been married seven years and built a life together. If you wanted to act single, then why didn't you get a divorce? He could never get over my body count. I was silently killing him. It was silently killing him on the inside. I guess it hurt his ego. He told me that he admits he wasn't as desirable to women when he was in his 20s. And now that he's in his 30s, he has more life experience. He's older. Women now find him more attractive, especially after working out. He's had more attention from the opposite gender. I'm like, I'm just like, okay, but you're married. And he said he shouldn't have gotten married in his 20s. He said it's unfair for him to say no to all the girls that want him now when they didn't want him before. He told me he realized women like older men who are more established in their career, and I believe him, and I also noticed they like stealing other husbands as well. Anyways, the divorce is finalized. I just received my paperwork. I also been back in the States. He's still in Europe getting his D-wet. I stupidly contacted him a few days ago when I was drunk, and he told me to get help, and he blocked me on everything. I hate him so much, but I'm still not over this. I know I need therapy, but I just don't have the money for that. I'm unemployed and been staying with a family member until I get back on my feet. ETA. People keep telling me to report him for adultery. I actually did report it to his higher up and they were kind of confused as to why I was trying to get him in trouble. They assumed that I was trying to steal my husband's money. My divorce is also finalized now, but honestly, none of it even matters. Infidelity is so common in the military. Trust me. I tried to get him in trouble for adultery, and I tried to get compensated for his cheating, but I didn't have a case. They don't take UCMJ seriously unless it's someone actually reported for him sexually, me, or the R word, which didn't happen. You don't have to be someone really. You have to be someone really important in the military, and a high-ranking member will also have to do something extreme, like get someone prego. For them to really care. But I did go to the legals and presented text messages of the affairs and they couldn't do anything about it. They informed me that this it really isn't anything and I kept I should keep moving forward with the divorce. They told me that I, they know it sucks but I need to move and leave with dignity. Infidelity isn't going to hurt his career. I walked away gaining nothing from this divorce other than a heartbreak. This is unfortunately really common. I personally know a lot of people that cheated in the military and the most common outcome was that they would get a divorce and receive child support which everyone else is entitled to no matter what the reason of the divorce is um okay that was a lot to unpack okay first of all your husband's childish because not no real nigga gonna be like oh how many people don't just love like come really be be fucking for real like be for real he's weird and then the fact that you sat there and tried to make that as an, an excuse blah they blah you know i feel like he was being real with her by saying like hey like you know i shouldn't have got married in my 20s but like what type of shit is that to say to your wife though like hmm sir what like people just be playing with people's feelings and time that's why people end up on snapped like for real i'm glad you divorced him though because at the end of the day like like that marriage clearly was going down the damn drain for real honestly what y'all think tell me in the comments but yes i am done with this video uh, i will be back shortly with another video for y'all make sure y'all like comment subscribe engage with me also you know send some emails to the email below because i'm still accepting subscriber story times and i still want to read them i've gotten one story time so far so you know make sure y'all send me some over and yeah y'all you already girl know your girl got to go so peace